And here we are, back for the final week. Goodness me. How long have we been at this now? Ten weeks? It's good to be almost finished. Right, let me sort out my UI again. Let me play the emulator. And as you can see down the bottom, we have a new squad. I'm afraid there is no Totodile. Yet. There isn't a Totodile yet. But we have... Virgil, I've leveled them up all to level 50. But we have Virgil with Surf Brian Steel and Shadow Claw. We've got Swampy the Swampert, level 51. We've got Surf and Earthquake, Mud Roll and Takedown as well. We've got Aurora the Suicune, Surf Brian, Aurora Beam, and Rain Dance in case we need some extra power. Titus the Blastoise is still with us with Surf, Aquatel, Bite, and Strength. Mrs. Krebs with their Crab Hammer, Night Stash, Rock Smash, and Cut. And. Mo, because we need rock climb. But we have our Lampy Boy in the PC, nice and leveled up, ready for us as well. So, what we have left to do, I'm here at the start of Victory Road, just to get through Victory Road and beat the Pokemon League. And then we're done. So that's what we're going to do. I don't know the way, so who knows? Well, ditto. <laughs> that was that. That's not it. Ooh, the Sceptile's good. So I love Sceptile. Probably one of my favorite grass types. I don't want dittos, thank you. There is a random item over there, so I'm gonna go grab that. To us. Well, we'll have it. We'll grab ourselves a few encounters and see what kind of thing we can find. See if our Totodile is around. We have a Mime Junior, which isn't, again, not a water type. Yeah, the only reason we brought Mo along is for rock climb because I don't want to teach it to anyone else. Can't escape from a Mime Junior. Come on now. Oh, Torrent, good for you. Um, Shadow Claw should do fine. Yeah, I, I, I have seen some ROM hacks uh, kind of doing things a bit differently. I, I don't know which, like, this is the first randomizer I've ever done, so I don't, don't even know which one I prefer. Like, this randomizer is good. Sometimes it didn't work as intended, which is, you know, that's fine. But, you know, I've enjoyed it. First trainer battle on Victory Road has got three psychic Bryce. Let's see what you got. A Swellot. Should be fine. Virgil? The steel types with poison moves won't do anything. Oh, so like every rather than static or each Pokemon being randomized to something else, literally every time you encounter something, you will get a different. You'll get something different, something random. That seems like a good way to do it. Virgil's also holding the leftovers as well for some nice extra healing. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> A grass fire type Greninja. Damn. And we're back to full health with our leftovers. Very nice. <laughs> Pretty much everyone knows Surf as well. Everyone except... Mrs. Krabs, I think, knows surf. Because it was just better than Bubble Beam. <laughs> there's no point in me having all weak moves when there's something strong. We've got a Flaffy coming in, which is exactly why we now have our Swampy. We have a ground type, finally, at the end of the game. It's going to come really clutch when Cynthia brings out all of her electric types. A nice earthquake should do nicely here. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I never thought about it with changing trainer uh, trainer teams as well. And a shaman for the uh, the last one. So let's switch into Aurora for an ice type. Not sky form, just the just land form. Could have been a four times effective Aurora Beam. Yeah, so I had I benched Juma and I ended up benching Siku as well. And Calypso as well. Which is a shame, but we needed our three starters. Yeah, Shaman is 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 cute, I'll give it that, but not not powerful. <laughs> I like this guy form, but why? I did half. Oh, that's just a low roll. Come on, man. So don't start with the synthesis. <laughs> it's not why we're here. Okay. I thought it was going to heal more than half. That's fine. Aurora Beam should take it down. Yeah, I like the sky form they introduced in Platinum to make it a uh, grass line type. Super weak to ice, but it was just way. It was more offensive than uh, than. I think pretty sure Shame is Shaman one of the ones that has a hundred across the board? Like one of those type of mythicals. I think it might be. Right, let's see what our first victory road item is in a second. A drowsy. Lots of psychic types. So we've seen Mime Jr., Drowsy, and Ditto. Oh, and there's a TM for Earthquake. Swampy has already leveled up and learned it by level up, but that's fine. An Onyx. It's the kind of thing you kind of expect to find in Victory Road, but uh, not this time. Yeah, I, I thought it was. I, th I remember them kind of like stopping that and then kind of bringing it back for Shaman. So it's like it's okay, but then Skyform is just way better. Just looks way better as well. Okay, let's um oh it never goes when I want it to. Oh my god, that thing is quick. Double edge not gonna do anything to me because I'm steel type. <laughs> And so I should take it out. Because for whatever reason it can run from an Onyx. Onyx is really weak as, as well. Only base 40 attack. Same as an Oddish. You heard it here folks. Onyx and Oddish are exactly as strong as each other. Right. Still no idea where I'm going. So I'm just going to go this. Not this way. I can't go this way. Bad moves. Bad vibes. And Medicham. I need to put someone quicker up. Because Force Farm is. and a fighting high jump kick is. high jump kick would be kind of scary. I think they even look the same as well. They've got the same face. Right, let's put someone more speedy up front. Who have we got which is quicker than Virgil? 63, 73, 109. Okay. Let's put Aurora up front. Okay, so I went the wrong way straight away. That that sounds exactly like so. Hey, look, we've got another Mo on our hands. But I don't want ducks. I want crocodiles. And it's kind of surprising how we've had a unique encounter each time as well. And as soon as I say that, we get two back to back, which is which is fine. <laughs> Ooh, 
We'll just keep running. That's the only thing we want from today. If we finish a bit earlier, I don't know how long it's going to take for me to... Because we, we might fail the... Uh, we might fail the, the Pokemon League, so... I don't know how long it's going to take, but if we finish early, then we'll... Um, We'll have a look at the like the battle resort and, and that area. We'll go go a little bit further, see if we can find our total dial if we don't find him in here. Right, I don't think we're getting repeat encounters now, so I'm gonna throw up a repel just to make our lives a bit easier. Repel, super repel, there we go. Right. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, it is this way. That's just for an item. Not really bothered about items right now. I know, there's nothing we're going to find which will be uh, nothing we'll find that which will be useful to us. I don't think. So we'll just speed on down and get through these trainer battles as quick as we can. Hopefully, by the end of the first hour, we should be through Big Tree Road. Um. I thought there was, but I have no idea where it is, and I can't generate a new one. So, like the test uh, test randomized file that I did had a spoiler log, but I don't think I I don't think I downloaded it uh, for for this one to prevent myself from cheating. <laughs> um. Well, we can just. Do we need the whole, we don't need the national decks, do we, to, to explore the whole thing? I can't I honestly can't remember. Do we not just get that straight away or do we have to do something else for it? Yeah, I have I have very little restraint when it comes to cheating. I will cheat shamelessly. Polywag coming out, so we'll get a nice slash off. Yeah, well, we'll we'll just wander around and see what we do. We have seen all, put yes, seen everything for to get the national decks. I think we should be able to go there. I don't see why they'd. At least the battle area we'll be able to get to. Maybe after um, like bits after that, we might need the national decks for. But we should be able to go to the first area. I think. We'll find out in, in a little bit. <laughs> right, let's go this way. This is the only way we can go. Yeah. I remember it took me like forever to get the natural decks on the original diamond. Which way am I going? Let's go down this way. I think I remembered all the all the all the right HMs. You need you need five HMs to be able to go through um Sinnoh Victory Road. It's ridiculous. Five out of eight HMs. So you can't even just use one HM mule. <laughs> it's so stupid. I literally have no idea where I'm going. Not this way. Oh, I thought I could get, get pest. Oh yeah, so you need waterfall to get in. You probably need it later on as well, I can't remember. You need strength rock smash, which we've already used, and rock climb, which we've already used as well. And surf is probably going to be needed in a minute as well. But first, let's beat up the CV. I'm glad they got rid of HMs entirely from Gen 7 onwards. Like the concept of HMs is good, but like the fact that they can't be deleted was was ridiculous. Vile plume I should keep in with a with a Aurora. Like just let, let, it, let me like do it, uh, like, teach it on the fly and then, then get rid of it, you know? Ok, 
Okay. R okay, aromatherapy we can survive. Oh, I clicked off it. My accident. Another Aura Beam and we're fine. I think that's only two Pokemon for this battle. Yeah. It's a shame when a fan game gets there before, um... <laughs> before the main series, but... Oh, we've got another mythical. We've got Fionn coming against us. I mean, you obviously like insurgents. <laughs> no shame in that. I quite like the concept of insurgents. Never played it myself, but Insurg Pokemon Insurgents is a, a fan-made game. Uh, it's like a ROM hack that uh, someone has made. It's a very, very good one. Quite story heavy, I think, from what I've seen. Yeah, some ROM hacks these days are, are like ridiculously good. Can I go down? Thank you. I think it's this way. Now you got some rum hacks which are just there to like, just for difficulty. So there's like Radical Red, uh, Emerald Kaizo, Blue Kaizo. Then there's ones which people have like the good story like um, the Team Rocket one and uh, Insurgents as well. Quite a few trainers in here. More than I thought there'd be. Ugh, so many water types. Should have brought Lampy Boy. Okay, this won't do. Bring Mrs. Krabs out. Oh, is it a completely. Uh, I just assume all fan games are, are ROM hacks, just because I feel like that's easier to make. Wow, built the system up from, from scratch, that's crazy. Crit Night Snish, oh an earthquake, we should survive, question mark. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. What am I doing? I'm going to be using the speed up button a bit because some of these animations take forever. <laughs> Especially like the HP drop animation. Oh, it used dive. Okay, well in which case I'm going to use this opportunity to heal myself. And I bought loads of full restores as well. In preparation. This shouldn't do any, hardly any damage. <laughs> yeah, not even 20 damage. No, I don't hate it that it goes on the last thing. Right, Night Slash again. There we go. A level 51 Mrs. Crab is very nice. Hey, robot. Right, let's carry on. Ooh, which way do I? Which way am I going? There's only one way to go, which is this way. I mean, at least you've got a good excuse. Okay, 
dodge past the old man. We'd beat him up anyway. I feel bad beating up old men. Right. I think there's a surfing bit coming up from what I remember. Right. Another fight. Okay, you didn't miss a lot last week, just the final gym battle and some legendaries as well. Just against that guy with a snubble. I mean, yes, I have said both of those things. But at the same time, I feel like it's justified, you know? Sometimes small children just deserve to have their lunch money stolen. Especially the annoying ones. Believe me, I know plenty of annoying children. I love the badass grandpa trope. It's like, it's so good. Just a grumpy, angry old man. Like Jackie Chan. Just a badass grandpa. As long as my employer doesn't see it, it's fine. And hopefully it will be taken entirely as a joke. Because otherwise I am in trouble. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm allowed to call kids annoying. It's the lunch money thing which I should, probably shouldn't be saying. <laughs> there goes God of War. Cricketune. We'll keep Aurora in, why not? The best cry in all of Pokemon. And also the best mustache too. God. HP Pog goes down so slowly in this game. Oh, Perish Song. It's alright, I think this is the last one. Is it going to Tullal? Cause, yeah, because Tullal just has to win. Pew! Bye bye, Cricketune. And your glorious moustache. Thank you for the money. Alright. Which way am I going? I feel like I'm going to go this way. This feels like the right way. Sneak past you. Well, I could have just gone across then, really, couldn't I? I feel like, this is, I, feel like I should have gone up the waterfall. We'll see. Yep, because this was just for an item. A rare bone. Wow, thank you. I mean, I'm glad that it's like that. Like, it should be. A, it should definitely be a maze. For sure. Like, I hate the Victory Rose where it's just a straight line. Like, it, it should be, like, it, sh it should be tough to get through, and there should be trainers running or lurking around every corner. It's supposed to be tough. <laughs> so cool, it's in Sun and Moon, there wasn't even a Victory Road. <laughs> they had to change it in Ultra Sun and Moon. And they added added a whole mountain 
<laughs> to go through. I feel like it's not my way. I'm gonna have to fight this guy, I think. Ooh, it's a dragon tamer. Normally it would be, but this time it's an almost star trainer. Aurora should be fine. We've got a neutral surf. Oh, I'm just I just mean in in the actual um original Sun and Moon, there was like two elevators and a grass patch and that was it. And then in Ultra Sun and Moon they had to they changed it so there was, actually was more of a victory road. <laughs> And I did not know that about the, about the Hawaiian word for victory. Very interesting. Like I won't deny, I don't deny that they um, have had their problems, but Sun and Notch Sun and Moon Notch Moon are some of my favorites. And yeah, Sword and Shield has Route 10. Like not even anything resembling a victory road. So so stupid. But yeah, Sun uh, Sun Sun Moon Gen Seven is probably my favorite generation. In all honesty, I think I. I don't know which one I preferred. I definitely liked bits from both of them. So I, I don't know which one I would say is my, my favorite from Sun or Ultra Sun. Because I liked bits of Ultra Sun, but then there were aspects of uh, original Sun in which they removed, which were things that I really liked. So like uh, a combination of the two, I enjoy. <laughs> Some legendary or other down there, I think. Um, I think I have to go down there. Or somehow get down there. Do I have to fight this old man? That makes me feel bad. Yep, looks like I'm fighting old men. I shall do what I must. Black, well, I don't know which one I prefer out of uh, black or white or black and white 2. Probably black and white 2, to be honest. Yeah, I think black black 2 is my favorite. Black 2, white 2 is my favorite of Gen 5. Yeah, like Gen Gen four and five were was like good. That's like where the nostalgia is for me. Is uh, is Gen four and Gen five? So remember when original black and white came out? Um, it was released in in the UK. It was like March or April time, and that's when our school had like the annual skiing trip. And it like was released like the week before we were due to leave. So me and my fr me and a couple of my friends we went. Like we we bought it. We each we each had uh, had bought it. And shit, ninja. This is not useful. I've got to go somewhere on it. It's fine. And then we uh, like played through it at the same time. And we each had a different starter. And we'd like battle each other and and uh, and things like that. That's like like that is like such good memories. So. Yeah, the the nostalgia is definitely there on uh, on Gen Four and Five for me. Metopia, I've I've played the demo of Metopia. I don't know if I'm gonna get the full game yet. I should probably buy a, have a break before I buy a new Switch game because I just bought Pokemon Snap like three weeks ago. It's good. I enjoyed the demo though, so I, I may end up getting it at uh, at some point.
grunge was grudge do. No idea. Oh, it's not a fusion. Yeah, I mean, I know Switch is different. Well, what's like, what's stopping you from like getting the, the Switch or like, what's like pro, pros and cons of 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 getting a Switch? This old man looks nothing like his overworld sprite. <laughs> Oh, Pokemon Snap. Oh. I enjoyed it. Like, I know it's it's very short. It's only like six, seven hours of gameplay for... Maybe eight if you're pushing it. For... But yeah, that's that's it for... Like... Quote-unquote story content. But... You know, the, the the whole thing about it is like the replayability aspect and the, the completionist aspect of it, which, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm somewhat of a completionist, not... Oh no, you're exactly right, it is just taking pictures. That is all you do. You go through the courses and take pictures of Pokemon. That is, that is it. That is your core gameplay loop right there. And, you know, I find, you find, I find it to be somewhat enjoyable. It's very relaxing, I find. Like, if I've had like a... A rubbish day at work or whatever I'll just come home load up Pokemon snap and chill out taking pictures of, of cute little Pokemon so you know it's it's definitely not for everyone I understand that but uh, I you know I find it to be enjoyable I wouldn't call it like game of the year or an amazing game but I like it Yeah, something mindless to take, uh, just to take your mind off things. I've been trying the um, Monster Hunter Rise demo. I've been trying, I've been getting a little bit into Monster Hunter, and I'm trying the Monster Hunter Rise demo to see if I want to get the full game. Oh my god, it is so confusing. There is so much happening in the Monster Hunter game. I just get confused so much. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've been playing Monster Hunter Stories on the um, on the 3DS, and that's kind of like that's more like Dragon Quest than Monster Hunter, and I vibe with Dragon Quest, so so I'm really enjoying that. But like main series Monster Hunter is there's so much going on, there's so much I have to remember. It's crazy. Toga penis switch in. Virgil. Try Steel Wing on this guy. But yeah, Monster Hunter. So going on back onto Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter Stories 2, which is the sequel to the 3DS game, is coming out on the Switch in early July. Uh, one of the kids at work showed me the uh, the trailer for it, and it looks very, very good. So I decided I'd buy and play the uh, the first one, see what I'm getting into, and it's it's very, very, very fun. Very much like Dragon Quest, which I enjoy a lot. So, yeah, that's some, that's probably the next Switch game I'm gonna get is uh, Monster Hunter Stories Two. Did I not hit a steel wing? It's very annoying. There we go. Dragon Tamer Clint. That didn't. That looked like I thought it was an Ace Trainer. <laughs> They've got the same sprite. Okay. Are we close to the end? I think this is it. I think we're out. We are out. We're at the Pokemon League. I remember it being a lot longer than that. I guess I <laughs> remembered wrong. But here we are, Pokemon League. We are going to be on par for Aaron, and like six, seven potentially eight levels under for Cynthia. There is like a steep, uh, steep level jump. Uh, before we do anything, I'm going to surf around here for a bit and see what we uh, find now that our repel has just worn off. Because who knows, this may be where the Totodile is. Nope, it's just a Spiritomb. 
which is the same encounters as we had at the other end of uh, Victory Road, which is annoying. I was kind of hoping for something different. Let's try one more. I'm using the speed up button while surfing, but it's going the same speed. Just makes the music quicker. <laughs> Oh, I went too far. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so I get concentrating on something else. There we go. Probably just a spirit team. Because that's literally... Oh yeah. Only spirit teams here. Just like the other end. Okay. Well. I think it's time. Heal ourselves up. Make sure we've got enough items. Oh wait, before I forget, we are gonna have to fight Derp just now, aren't we? I, I completely forgot about that until just now. <laughs> yeah, the final Derp fight. Here we go. I'm gonna put Virgil up front, because he resists the most things. And switch out Mo for Lampy Boy. Uh, move Pokemon. Lampy Boy level 50, holding the magnet to power up. This is Discharge and Thunder. Okie dokie. There he is. One final time, one final butt whooping. He's got a full team of six, and he's starting off with a Haunter. Good job we love with Virgil, because Virgil's got that Shadow Claw. So you both got ghost moves, but I resist yours, and you're super effective to mine. <laughs> Oh, so close. If that was a crit, we would have been there. Uh, that would have been good. Shadow Claw's got... Sh Shadow Claw's the one with the high, chip, high crit chance, I think. Ooh, payback. I resist that as well. Virgil resists so many things. I love the steel typing. I watched a YouTube video, which is like the best type for, for each generation. And like steel type is like so good in, the, in Gen 7 and 8. Like it completely floors everything, apparently. So... But we've got a pincer. Is that bug flying or just bug? I think it's just bug, right? I don't know if I've got anything that is good against bug. It's good against bug. Flying. Fire. I don't have anything. Mrs. Krabs. If in doubt, Mrs. Krabs can, can sort, sort things out. And it must be true because it rhymes. Nice slash. Oh, Swords Dance Pincer. Whoa. Scary. Not as scary as Guzma's Pincer, though. Guzma's Pincer in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon was deadly. Oh. Submission. We're Dark Type. Why didn't I think of this? I'm so stupid. I think we're down. Yep. <laughs> Mrs. Krabs couldn't sort it out. Mega Switch is just bug. Okay. I don't think I have anything for just bug. But uh, we lost Mrs. Krabs, which is a shame. I guess it's time for Swampy to do some stuff. Thrash. We should survive. There we go. Surf should take it out as well. Okay, if we didn't take out then, then Pincer could have could have floored our entire team, which would have, would have been a, wouldn't have been ideal. Also, Swampy's got some leftovers too. Shroomish. Need some ice moves from Aurora. Wish I had an ice beam TM. Swampy is the best. That is exactly right.
Praise be to Mount Coronet for blessing us with two starter Pokemon. It's not quite enough. Spore. Okay, as long as it's not like... Uh, I was going to say as long as it's not sleep, but... Okay, we'll just speed ourselves through this bit. Giga Drain. Ooh. Okay, this is less than ideal to be honest. Oh, only one turn. It's good. It could have been there for like five turns. I'm very glad we weren't. Probo Pass. Rock Steel, I believe. So water should be really pretty good against it. So let's let Virgil do some more. Second best mustache in all of Pokemon. Slide. Think should be fine. Yeah, not very effective because Steel resists so much stuff. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Brian will be able to take you out from now. Ooh, a sandstorm. I'm steel type, so <laughs> good effort. <laughs> okay, I think that's four down, two to go. So close to leveling up as well. Macargo, easy. We can easily take out Macargo. Water and rock, one surf, and you're down. If it's not down in one, I'm going to be very upset. Because there's literally no reason why it shouldn't. There we go. Level 51 Virgil, very good. And what's Stirp's last Pokemon? We're almost back to full health as well. Hoot hoot. What a great great finish it up. Great finish. <laughs> Fully believing you should have placed your faith somewhere else, I'm afraid. <laughs> because Psychic is not very effective against Steel. <laughs> Desperately in need of, of some eye drops. I, it survived one hit though, which I'm very surprised at. But it deals less damage than I heal with leftovers, so. <laughs> Using Roost. He's, he's trying. Stealing. Bye bye, Hoot Hoot. Ooh, and that defense raise. Don't need it. It's the end of the battle, but uh, at least you tried, Dup. Hey, at least we're undefeated against Dup. That's that's what matters here. Right, let's heal up again. Don't make the mistake. I'm pretty sure I did many times in the original Diamond when I am tired from that battle and go straight into the Elite Four. That's not what we want. I mean, you got to admire the optimism, don't you? I uh, don't need to buy anything, I'm all stocked up on revives and... Am I stocked up on revives? Oh yeah, 30 revives, I've got plenty. <laughs> right. Examine gym badges, coal badge, forest badge, cobble badge, fan badge, relic badge, mine badge, icicle badge, and beacon badge. That's all eight. Let me in. Right. Here we go.
First we have Aaron. Who is normally bug types. So let's see what he got. I'm glad they revamped the, these these rooms in uh, in Platinum. I mean, usually it would be, but uh, oh, he's actually got his Yan Mega. What? And it's level 53. It's already higher than higher than any of ours. Oh dear. Okay, so we're already under leveled. Okay, so what you turn and what's he coming into? Golem. <laughs> That's fine. all right by me. I went for a surf. <laughs> Cla classic AI play. Good job. Okay, pretty good so far. I know this is a lot of XP. We could be getting, a, we could get a, a couple of levels each. Pokemon Dash. I don't think I've, I've heard, I don't know, ever played or seen any footage from Pokemon Dash. It's like some, I don't even know what 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 is even the game mechanics in that. What do you what do you even do? I mean, I watched what someone speedrun Cooking Mama, so <laughs> you could speedrun any game. Just before I started the stream, I watched a YouTube video of someone speedrunning Bloons Tower Defense Five. <laughs> oh my goodness! Try attack. What? That's one hit me. Oh my god. Earthquake, get this thing out of here. It didn't get it out of here. Yeah, it's full restore, no sense using another earthquake. Try attack. It's just normal. Why does it do so much damage? My goodness. Alright, if it goes from the tri attack, Swampy's down. So let's hope we don't and. Okay, lock on, that's fine. Earthquake will take you down. It's me, Porygon Z is strong. Good old Swampy. Chingling, okay, that's that's something we can we can we can go with, that's fine. Let's get Virgil back out here. You must us give Derp the beatdown of his life. But and we're against Aaron right now. So far, he's had a Yan Mega, a Golem, a Porygon Z, and this Chingling. Yep, he's still lost because he always loses. Oh my God, his ace is fifty-seven. What level is Cynthia's Garchomp then, if this is a 57? What? We are so underleveled. <laughs> oh my god. I will... If they have any sort of power behind those high levels, I think we'd me we might be done for. So... Yep. 
we're going to be probably using plenty of revives if we... <laughs> okay, probably going to use another full restore, which is annoying, but... He didn't? Okay. Oh, I guess he's locked into uproar. Chomeko should get an evolution. If you could give if you could give an evolution to any Pokemon, which one would it be? You turn again? This was this was the first U-turn Yan Mega. His last Pokemon is a Fero. Yeah, you can't improve on profession. Just like you can't evolve Wooper as well. So you can't give Wo you can't give Wooper an evolution because Wooper is perfect. Wooper is the perfect Pokemon. No U-turns this time. I mean, you can have more than one perfect Pokemon. Okay, Yamega finally gets hit by a move. <laughs> and he's taken out two crits in a row. Good on you, Virgil. I think that's Aaron defeated. One down, four to go. Real peck. Flying type move would be good against grass types. Let's get rid of Brian. Surf is just better than Brian. Slowking is pretty good. Could you evolve it even more though? I think my Tiana should have an evolution. Or there should be something to bridge the gap between Poochyena and Mightyena. Right, first let's revive Mrs. Krabs, because she went down, because Porygon Z was s scary. And then let's have version... What I don't have, now that I'm thinking about it, is any PP restoring items. I, I do look into I In pretty much every Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire playthrough I do, I keep the Poochyena that you get at the start with the with the egg move, and I use it all the way through. So like every Elite Four run through that I go through has has that has that mighty Enna. And it is it's good, it's it's strong. Fire Fang you get Fire Fang or Thunder Fang, I think. I think it's kinda of random. Yeah, when um when you first, when May first teaches you how to use the Dex Nab, right after you, um, right after you start the game, you sneak up on the Poochyena. That Poochyena has an egg move. Right, Big Bertha. Battle number two. But yeah, the Dex Nab in. When you use it, you have chances of them getting egg moves and being high levels and stuff. No, not another Porygon Z! Oh. And this is level 55. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's just gonna just spam lock on and then we're fine. And as long as Surf does more than half. Because we'll resist any of his normal moves. So, we should be fine on Virgil. That did less than I wanted it to do. Let's try a Steel Wing. Just can't get it into red health. Otherwise, she'll heal.
Porygon X. What? Another evolution. It's okay. We managed to take down. This shouldn't do too much. There we go. Because of the resist. I completely forgot we had Virgil before. And that tri attack was normal. Even though I said it was normal. Okay. Porygon Z down. Kangaskhan. Another normal type. But let's let Mrs. Krabs do some. And at least it's not a Mega in this gen. So we don't have to worry about that, uh, that double hitting ability. Parental Bond. Reversal. Of course it's got fighting type moves. Why wouldn't it? Looks like we're losing Mrs. Krabs again. Oh! Didn't do actually that much. I thought I was going to do way more. Okay. See how much Night Slash does. Hopefully more than Rock Smash, because that was kind of naff. This might not do enough. Unless I get a crit. Night Slash has a high crit chance, so it could happen. It didn't happen. It never happens when I want it to happen. <laughs> Ugh. Crap, hammer will do something. Okay, two Night Slashes should do it. Should be able to survive for a second one. Okay, and again, there we go. Oh, I'm not going to survive. Well, down goes Mrs. Krabs again. <laughs> Ugh, I should have brought Calypso instead. Held it. Okay. Two Pokemon down. Gloom. Let's go for uh, Aurora. Some ice moves on this gloom. Do wish I'd found the time to, um, taken the time to pick up Ice Beam instead of Aurora Beam. But ah oh well. It does over half, that's, that's what matters. Battle Dance. Should survive. Oh, we haven't even actually used Lantern yet. Okay, that was too much damage on the Petal Dance. Yeah, Lantern's pretty much just our counter to other water types. To negate the uh, not very effective -ness. Let's go, let's, let's go for Lantern now. Let's go for our Lampy Boy against this Eevee. Let's go for a Surf, see how much Surf does. Should have taken an extra turn. So let's see if we can set up the rain. Then let's get, that, just get five thunders in. Or four thunders in. See so how much discharge does. Oh, Bassam Pass. Not very useful, because 
you haven't up to any stats. Only goes against Love Disc, and I've already got Discharge on the on the way. <laughs> uh, a misplay from Bertha right now. <laughs> but we go, it's a crit. Lampy Boy performs very, very well. <laughs> Out Lampy Boy, and let's try a Thunder. See if we can get a Thunder to hit when the rain's not up. I believe in you, Lampy Boy. I don't believe because you flinched. Are we getting, oh, we're getting flinch hacks performed against us. That's my move. Yes, connects with the Thunder. Very good. That should be Eevee down. There we go. I think that's Big Bertha defeated. Right, now we're up against Flint, I believe, is next. The fire type elite four member who only has two fire types in Diamond and Pearl. So dumb. Twitch player playing up. That's not right. I think uh, the remakes are going to have the Platinum Pokedex. Which will be good because Porygon Z was shown in the trailer and Porygon Z was only in, you can only get Porygon in Platinum, not in the original Diamond and Pearl. So I think there's a good chance that. Uh, BDSP is going to have the Platinum Pokedex, which is good. That's what we want. Right, who are we going to... Let's bring up Swampy up front. I'm feeling, feeling confident that Swampy can, can do, some, do some good in this fight, fight against Flint. Right, if we beat this, we're halfway there. I feel like you'll be able to import them in. Mess screen, is that bug flying or bug water? I feel like it's bug water. Mess screen, intimidate, that's very annoying. We'll try a surf. Oh, flinch your hex. Dunspore? My god, this masquerade is not messing around. Okay, that wasn't very good damage. Let's go for another stuff. <laughs> Silver Wind should be fine, it's just a little bug move. Uh, and the full para, that's for annoying. I feel like it's bug flying because Surf was um, neutral. Twice double para. Alright, Swampy's gonna go down. Not a great start. Oh, we've been well winded out. Okay. Swampy lives to fight another day. Because we have our Lampy Boy. Okay, full restore, that's okay. Discharge should, if it's flying type, do a decent amount. Very good. Another discharge. Okay, that did too much. <laughs> that did far too much. But discharge and masquerade is done for.
Okay. Level up for Swampy. Licky Tongue. Okay, let's switch in. Mrs. Cra Mrs. Krabs can do it this time, I believe. I believe in Mrs. Krabs. You need to show me that it was worth me bringing you along on this trip, Mrs. Krabs. <laughs> It's level 58, oh my goodness. Okay, a, a crit, super effective, defense drop. Okay, you, you are, you're putting in the work this time. Ring out, I don't know what that does. It does too much damage. Okay. I believe, another defense drop, okay. Power whip, I'm down. Okay, she did better that time. Um, the bad thing is that he's now going to full restore. But, minus two defense, which is why I've brought in Titus to do an Aqua Tail. Didn't even... Didn't even heal. Flint... Flint is not, not a coward. Azumarill, that's why we have Lampy Boy. Yeah, Mrs. Krabs has just kind of become the fodder, I think. <laughs> but I, I decided to bring Mrs. Krabs of Calypso because I wanted some more physical, but uh, no, I should have brought Calypso instead, I feel. 61, oh my goodness. Double edges, I think this is it for Lampy Boy. <gasps> I survived, please connect Thunder. Oh my god. <sighs> Oh yeah, Cynthia's going to be difficult. She's got things in like the mid-60s. I thought they were going to be just around 60. But if she's got like mid to high 60s, it's going to be a struggle. She's, but she better have like all baby Pokemon. Otherwise, we're done for. Okay, connect with the Thunder. There we go. Could have done that last time. Didn't even do that much. What? Ugh. Okay, we need to use another one. Rain. Thanks for the rain. <laughs> That's fine by me. I can get some guaranteed thunders in right now. That's fine. Great. Fighting against Arceus. No, I didn't bring any X attack in defense because I don't think of that because I'm stupid. <sighs> well, I think Lampy Boy is down. <gasps> yes. Okay, get some damage with Thunder. Please do at least half. Oh, we got the para. That's good. Oh, okay. Salvation. Potentially. Okay, two more of those. I feel like I can't pause to heal because then it'll... We might miss a, a rain. We miss a rain powered thunder. So we just have to hope that he gets paralyzed again. Yes. Who would win? The god of all Pokemon or one Lampy Boy? No. You, sh you are not in range of healing. You are not in range. That's complete BS. Well, no, I'm going to be dead, so... Right. 
Virgil resists probably most of his moves, so we're gonna have to go in Virgil. Earth power. This is complete BS. Okay, well, there goes Virgil. Extreme speed was his final move. Oh my god. Defense drop, okay, that's good. Hyper voice? Just gonna knock me out. Yep. Okay, got minus one defense. So let's bring in Titus. Extreme speed, we should survive. We go, we're pretty bulk. Pretty bulky. Aquatail. Okay. I'm gonna switch in someone who's low. So we can get a clean switch in on Titus. That's which wouldn't work anyway. Okay, we're gonna have to sack off two Pokemon here just to get rid of Arceus. And then heal that's up to full. Down goes Lampy Boy. And then switch back into Titus for an Aquatail. As long as we survive a hyper voice, which we should. There we go. Okay, with any luck, that is the most difficult. You have got to be kidding me. You have actually got to be kidding me. That is stupid. There is no way it did that little damage this time. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to sack off Titus. There's li literally. That's not what I wanted, you idiot. Unless it misses, which it doesn't. Just have to hope that Suicune survives one hit. That's actually stupid. Yeah, I just need to survive this. Which I do. Okay, there we go. Look at that, it did from half to less than a quarter. And then it did less than a quarter. Not even that was on the second Aquatel. With minus one defense as well. Oh, for God's sake. This is ridiculous. Actually ridiculous. <sighs> okay, just don't get the Omni Boost and we're good. Swift, we should survive it. Barely. Alright, we'll heal just because he's not doing that good damage soon. I'd rather face down a Hoa than an Arceus. Get a rain dance. And then another surf.
No, I misclick. Oh, and of course you get rid of the bloody rain. <sighs> okay, just take it out with Brian, please. Ugh. Let's do double damage. There we go. That was a stupid, ridiculous battle, but it's over. Hopefully that's as hard as it gets. God, I do not want to have to do that again. I hate that you can't sort the bag as well. Good job, I got all these revives. Right, we've got Lucian and Cynthia to go. As soon as we clear everyone up. <laughs> so we were literally hanging on by a thread after fighting God. Okay, we're done, and we've used almost half of our four restores, and I'm also going to just drop one of these, because I'm not doing that again. Well, Pokemon God does exist in this world, because we literally just sort of stood in front of him, so... Okay, there we go. Last Elite Four member, Lucian. It's not a theory, it's it's factual. <laughs> it's presented many times. It's not really a theory. along with the way it looks, right? Okay, Absol. That's that's good. We we can deal with Absols. It's level 59 though. Which is too high. And it's using detect and with pressure as well. Ugh. Disgusting. What? Paris? Okay, that's fine by me. <laughs> That was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a mistake. <laughs> okay, let's swap into Virgil, I think. Let's see this, how Drill Pack fares. Arceus created Mew, surely. And the Mew becomes the genetic ancestor of every Pokemon. Or every other Pokemon. No, Mew didn't create Arceus. Arceus was born from an egg. From before creation. At least that's what the the legend is. It's not Arceus was first. There's just no no. Uh, there can't be an argument about that because it just is. <laughs> I 
No, there's no chickens, no eggs. It's just Arceus is God and Mew is the genetic ancestor for all standard Pokemon. Just stop holding down the speed up button. <laughs> I mean, it, it does in the Pokemon world. <laughs> we are entirely fact correct that Arceus does not exist in, in our world. So it is not any sort of god for us, but... Yeah, that's how much he exists. Enough to knock down almost every single one of our Pokemon. Except Suicune. Legend versus Legend. I mean, let's let's not go there, Luke. We may end up insulting someone, and we don't we don't want to do that. Um, God, I don't want to stay in one Pokemon against Evsol for too long because it's pressure. I do need to keep some PP for. Cynthia. Let's go, Mrs. Krabs. See if Mrs. Krabs can finally do something. He's already half health. And Suraksha, she's apparently super detect, because of course. Okay, so stop holding down speed up. I'm, trying, I'm so used to speeding up through Arceus for, for like five minutes that I got rid of it. Yeah, I, I like Absol because of Mystery Dungeon. And I like its Mega as well. Don't worry about it, Luke. Don't worry about it. It's just I know that it can be a, a sensitive uh, topic for some people. So, uh, a Caterpie. Caterpie is good. Caterpie, I like Caterpie. Mrs. Krabs, you can beat this Caterpie. If you can't, then that's just embarrassing. Yeah, I got to ho -Oh. I've done, I've done Mewtwo as well, but I haven't done any of the 99 floor dungeons because I just don't have the time. <laughs> That's a lie. I do have the time. I did, I did buried buried relic, but um, like uh, I've been trying to do Silver Trench, but it's so high level, it's it's ridiculous, and it's like one of the first post game dungeons you unlock, and. It's like the highest level dungeon you can do. It's it's kind of stupid. I'm missing Mew, Celebi, uh, Jirachi, and Lugia are the ones I'm missing. Okay, let's let Mr. Kazuya get a double knockout. I was Sceptile in Mission Engine DX, and I had a yeah, Espeon as my partner. I've been like, I've been slowly working on getting every like starter and mega in, uh, in Mission Engine DX. Doing pretty good. Got myself for Alligator, Charizard, pr I've got pretty much everything, I think. for a crab hammer. Oh, Earth Power. I think this might be the end of uh, Mrs. Krabs again. I was trying for that triple knockout. Got greedy. Yeah. Got greedy with Mrs. Krabs trying for that triple. Yeah, Kekton is... Kekton's a tough one to get. I've got some pretty high level. I've got like uh, Salamence, Rhyperia, uh, Tyranitar, 
Alakazam. I've got, I've got some pretty pretty good uh, strong Pokemon in DX. I can't even remember what the personality test gave me. For like a Psyduck or something, knowing me. And then I was like, no thank you, I want to be a Trico. <laughs> Okay, so it's got an Entei. Entei we can handle. It just sucks that there was no Riolu option in, uh, in Mystery Dungeon DX. Because better believe that when we, uh, if and when we start doing uh, Mystery Dungeon Sky on uh, on stream, that I'll be restarting until I get a, a Riolu. Could be worse. Could get Cubone, because you don't want to be Cubone. <laughs> Because Cubone makes like all of the bosses up until Cubone, all of the bosses up until post game are impossible because half of them are flying type. Most of them, apart from one, are flying type. Yeah, go for it. Send a uh, put a link or something for the YouTube short. Yes, that that is a, a good idea, Luke. If uh, if and when we start. Explorers of Sky, we will have uh, a Riolu Totodile partnership. I'll have to watch that later so the uh, audio doesn't uh, interfere <laughs> with the stream, because it will. <laughs> oh, of you too, Luke. Right, Lucian is down. Time for Cynthia. I am very scared. <laughs> right, we need another another revive on on Scrub. She's went down in every single battle. <laughs> she's got oh, she's got a whoopee boy. Ooh, I don't know if I could. I don't know if that's possible for me to win. Right, who should we lead with, do you think? I will, I will give you, you all the option. Who should we lead with against Cynthia? Lead with Swampy? Sounds good. He's already up front, so that makes my life easy. Okay. We're done. I mean, six Arceus, I would... I would be very upset. Right, what I am going to do, just in case, is drop down a save. Then we can just try again as many times as we want. If we lose, which is entirely possible. Yeah, as long as if it starts with an electric type, Swampy is the best choice. So. Okay. League Champion Cynthia. What if she has a Totodile? Then I still haven't installed the Catch Trainers Pokemon cheat, so. Mistakes were made! <laughs> so Earthquake is neutral because it's Pot Poison. So. We're just gonna go for it. Oh, it's a Paddle Dance, we're screwed. <laughs> Do it. I believe. I believe in the Swampy. Channel the power of Shrek, and we can survive this. We didn't survive this. <laughs> I will reload only if we, we get wiped out. So, what we're going to have to do is um, cry. <laughs> okay. Still resist grass, I'm pretty sure. So, we're going to go for a draw pack. Should survive this, right? We survived. And we should survive another one as well, because it did less than half. If this doesn't knock out. Which it probably won't, because we're almost 10 levels lower. But it does at least half, and that's what I'm after. And I've got leftovers, which I keep forgetting about too. Okay, we should survive this, and then Drill Peck will take it down. Now we just have to hope that she doesn't have a... Doesn't have a strong electric type. 
now that we've lost Swampy. <laughs> we got revives, it's fine. Yeah, it was very close. That did way more the second time. Right, what else we got? Porygon. Do you know who it's time for? She's going to try her best. Is Mrs. Krabs. I'm determined to have Rock Smash be useful. Because I'm very upset <laughs> that we've had to have it this whole time. Ugh, <laughs> oh, shell armor. I don't even know. I don't even know what that even does. Discharge. Oh my god. Okay. Hopefully this won't knock out, and then we can. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, bugger. Well, you tried, Mrs. Krabs. Discharge is scary. Does electric resist itself or not? I have to sack Virgil. And revive. Couldn't buy any full revive max revives, which is annoying. Yeah, discharge. Hopefully he doesn't have anything else. Hopefully he has no other good moves. So we can just Put in Swampy and Earthquake. Okay, we're, we're losing two for one at the minute on, on knockouts. Well, that's not true because we just revived Swampy. We got speed, that's good. Okay, please do at least half. It didn't do at least half. Lock on, okay. At least you know it can't discharge us. We're at the hospital, no discharging. We recover ourselves to behind that. Earthquake, should take it down a little bit more. Hopefully not into red though, I don't want it to get into healing range. Because that would annoy me. Okay, it's in healing range. Try attack. Okay, she will heal, so I'm going to heal. That's kind of that's kind of my play here. We've got 13 left. Ugh. Whoopie boy with sword dance. No, thank you. Doesn't, doesn't Whoop have mostly special moves anyway? Sword dance Whooper would be fine actually. I take it back. Give me a sword dancing Whooper. <laughs> right. See how much surf does. Okay, try attack we can survive. Take my hand off the speed up button sign. Another surf we should be fine with. And then three surfs. That's done about a third, right? Okay, I'm gonna go for an earthquake this time. We should survive this. And then earthquake should take it down. Very good. If this doesn't take it down, I'm going to be very upset. For the s several time today. That doesn't make sense. Okay, there goes Progon. We're two for two right now. But I've revived and she doesn't. Latios. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go for Aurora. Get some Aurora beams in. Slightly scary. Free knockout. <laughs> that was ridiculous. That was 
Cynthia, you fool. Oh, that was the best thing that's happened to, to, to us ever in this entire playthrough. Yeah, obviously. She had a hard, uh, hard time I had against that Arceus and Ho-Oh. But she's got another legend. She's got a uh, Regirock, which we will take down nicely with an Aqua Tail. I mean, I'm, I'm not, not against being pitied by Cynthia. Oh my god, that did nothing! Has charge beam? Good lord, man. Okay, it didn't do anything. We can survive. Try surf. Surf might do more. It might have higher physical defense than uh, than special. Don't know what you're gonna do with that special attack increase, Reggie Rock. Yeah, and he's got low special defense as well because that did twice as much as Acrotail. Okay, I think we've got two more to go. Two more Pokemon to go. Okay. Hydro Pump. No, we're gonna keep uh, keep what we've got. Corfish. We have our one Lampy Boy for situations like this. Okay, two more Pokemon. This is the second to last Pokemon of the run. Try discharge. We at speed, that's good. How much is this gonna do? At least half would be good. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Crit, Lampy boy. I knew there's a reason we brought you along. Magma. Ha ha ha. Lampy boy's gonna finish this. No, we have a tit duck instead. And I use Discharge instead, because I'm an idiot. Fire Blast? Nothing, mate. Although, not very effective, but it still did almost half. So, um... Paralyze it, just, uh... You know... Just to rub it in just a little bit more. Are we speed tied? Bam. And the full power just to rub it in her face a little bit more. What do we know? I speed tied. I paralyzed it. I'm so stupid. How did I win this with Pokemon knowledge like that? Goodness me. I should be ashamed of myself. And I am. I hope you know that. There we go. We defeated Champion Cynthia. With a team of only water types. Man. That's a long time coming. What's it been like? 10 weeks? Damn. And almost very neatly at the end of the... Coming to the end of our time as well. So we'll go through this. We'll see how long the credits take. And then... See how much time we got. Well, I do. I do have the handy speed up button. So I'm going to... Speed us through just so we can have a little wander around. Go, 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 go. Professor Rowan is here. Uh, did he beat the Elite Four as well? I hope so. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll wander around. We'll wander. Wander with the duh. We'll wander around. Try and find Totodile in the in the battle area. If we can even get there. Swampy, Virgil, Aurora, Tidus, Mrs. Krabs should be useless, and Lampy Boy. League champion. Very, very good. Yeah, we, if, we might be able. To, we'll see. We'll see how far we can get. If we can only get in the battle tower, then that's a bit rubbish because I don't like the battle tower. 
yeah, if we can't get any any grass patches or anything, then there's there's not much point in us doing anything. But we've only got about 15 minutes before we uh before we do anything. We have saved. What I'm going to do is reopen the ROM. See if that does anything. Imagine if this puts me to before the um. Before synth through again, I'll be I'll be very upset if it does that. <laughs> no, nope, here we are. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> no, it saved saved just before the the credits. Okay, I should looks like I should be able to go to snow point snow point uh, to the battle resort from now. But that does mean I have to um, run through this patch of grass. Oh boy, a Rosalia. Sw the Swampy's got PTSD from Rosalia's. We best run. <laughs> oh, what? I did not press the down button. Get out of here. Didn't run into anything now. Oh, hey, Don. Okay, apparently the Elder of Celestial Town wants to see us, but uh, not interested. Thank you. Let's just grab Shiro and then, uh, and then fly to Snow Point and get on the boat. And you know what? We're just going to keep Shiro with us and we're going to put Mrs. Krabs permanently. <laughs> in the box because she did not help <laughs> she got two knockouts and was knocked out five times <laughs> so um yeah you're on the bench mrs krebs shiro is my new best friend locker you mean looker looker is platinum was platinum only so there is no looker, if that's who you're talking about. Unless you are talking about a locker, in which case I have no idea what locker you're on about. <laughs> you, sir, take me to an island, to the battle zone. Okay, we can get on, that's fine. Let's see what we can do while we're there. Zoomy zoom! Oh yeah, there's two guys blocking the way, isn't there? And there's Buck. Volcano, that's where we could find Heatran if we could be bothered. Oh, maybe, maybe that's where he is in Diamond and Pearl. He's trapped in a locker. Wouldn't surprise me. Is he trapped? Robo, are you trapped in a locker? Yeah, looks like we can't get through here until we've done. until we've got the national decks. That's annoying. Is there any grass at all? Okay, just want to make sure. We get worried about you sometimes. Is there grass over here? Route 230, but I can't surf. Because. Yeah, I think we just get the battle tower. But I don't like the battle tower. So I, worry, I worry about everyone, robot. I worry all the time if people are stuck in lockers. Yeah, that's really very annoying that you have to have a national dex just to access that bit. Like, I get it, it like incentivizes like, the exploration before you move on. Ooh, a toxic orb. But, oh well. We, uh, we made it. We beat the Elite Four, we beat the champion. 
We are the greatest water type trainer ever in Sino. So, with that, we have completely finished. Because um, it probably is going to be impossible for me to actually get the National X, because I have no idea, even if we'd be able to find any of this stuff. Well, as we've seen, 120, so we're only 31 away from uh, from actually getting the National X, but literally, who knows where we would find any of them. So it's not really worth my time, to be honest. And we've been at this for like 10 weeks, so I think it's time. Oh yeah, sorry, yes, um, we'll have a moment's silence for our uh, fallen friend, Totodile, who we had to beat up twice but never had a chance to catch ourselves. Totodile, you shall be missed. Well, with our little sad session out of the way, we're done. Next week, and potentially week after, I'm going to have... Yeah, we'll have to do that for the whole of Sky. We're probably going to start that in a week. Uh, like uh, two or three weeks instead. Just to have a bit of a break from Pokemon stuff for us. Just for a little bit. We'll have a couple of one-off streams. I'll see what games I've got we'll, we'll, that we can just uh, mess around in. Just for a bit of fun before we step back into a full series again. But... Yeah... Man, I have no idea what to say now. We finished. It's great. Um, I'm not sure at the minute. I was thinking like a Lego game or something because they're pretty chill, to be honest. Just something that we can sit back and uh, sit back and and chill out with. If I can get my hands on a Switch capture card within the next week, I don't know. Maybe a Switch game or a PS4 game. If I can be bothered, and if uh, I have the funds, which I don't know yet. But yeah, Lego game, I've got literally all the Lego Star Wars games. So I might go for one of those. Or any other Lego game. Or just something chill. I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, throw up a poll in the events channel at some point. Just to, uh, to see what you guys want. But yeah. Without further ado, I'm going to get up out of here. For a nice chill stream next week. And then two weeks from now, possibly three, we will head on into Explorers of Sky, which is going to be good. It's going to be very, very fun. But from me and from Carson here, we will see you guys same time next week. Bye.